Yo, what is up, guys? This is Troy D from the Troy D 24 7 Mall on Point Reviews all day, every day. We're back with an Andy Tower. Oh my gosh, we haven't done Andy Tower since the beginning of the channel. Desert Marocan was one of my first videos ever, and like, I guess 300 videos later, 3,000 followers later, or subscribers later, we're back with Tower. And how did that happen? It thanks to one of our friends of the channel, Tan, who sent me this amazing tower sample pack with basically a lot of the fragrances that are not so talked about uh, from the brand uh, Andy Tower but the one that really caught my eye you know a few weeks ago is this one right here which is the Swiss Alps L'Air du Alpes Suisse or the Swiss Alps the air of the Swiss Alps okay I'm just gonna go English on this because I'm not good at French L'Air du Alpes Suisse by Andy Tower this one right here I mean this is what really really caught my attention because you know it's like the Swiss Alps I mean what kind of perfume you know if you're into tower I'm pretty sure your entry point was what the uh, desert Marocan or uh, a Curdu desert so I mean it's definitely not Lone Star memories okay but I'm sure if those are your entry points then you do know that those fragrances have teleported you to Morocco on that desert night. Well, does this one teleport me to the Swiss Alps? Let's find out today. Let's go hit the music. Okay, we're back guys. Andy Tower, L'Air de Alpes Suisse. Let's go try right now. Okay, so as you're watching this, I guess this is my question to you guys that you don't, I mean, you could answer it through your, you can comment below, but when you heard about this, if you've ever heard about this, what were you thinking? Were you guys thinking like the cold air from the Swiss Alps or were you thinking about you know kind of like the foresty area of the swiss alps or were you thinking like oh this is going to bring the cold into my summer my heat wave fragrances right all these come into play when you look at this because figuratively you're thinking about man how does the swiss alps translate into a fragrance okay now i mean what made me excited about this was when i did a layover in switzerland so i actually man it's one of my dreams to actually go down to switzerland and go around i have a friend over there she's the one that purchased my killian gold uh, atomizer so nice and you know she's always said you know you and your family are invited if you guys come down here and you know i mean switzerland i was able to only really experience during a very very long layover so uh that layover uh i was at the uh the swiss airport and they had this i mean this amazing airport lounge that basically had an outdoor deck and you can literally sit there on the outdoor deck looking at the swiss alps which is like man that was amazing i mean for the four hours that i was waiting i mean not only was i well fed by all the nice swiss stuff over there but then i also got to spend maybe a couple hours to just sitting down reclining on a chair looking at the swiss alps and smelling the breeze you know so i mean definitely this one caught my eye because of that experience and uh, here we are so let me tell you guys this okay the andy tower uh swiss alps air swiss alps fragrance here what it does hit is that it gives you this alpine breeze okay it's got this alpine breeze accord that i think is very spot on but the difference is is that it's not like the alpine breeze of just like ice or snow or the cold winter but it's also green okay because parts of the swiss alps are actually there's forests in there so this one has once you spray this guys you're gonna have this amazing combination of you know lemon basil pine birch fir which is like a spicy green aromatic um and then some uplifting lavender okay so what you get it's, it's this green combination which is like you know very very 
uh, uplifting, you know, because it has the it, it has the pine, it has the lavender, some uplifting agents, but uh, it has these notes like basil, <laughs> like basil, lemon, and fir. So actually, it what it tries to recreate are these like I guess the piney forests, you know, with the alpine breeze coming in. Okay, so. The reason why I asked you guys in the beginning of the video, I was saying like, what do you guys think? Were you guys thinking like just a cold breeze? Because no, actually Tower uh, Swiss Alps basically has green. It's mostly green in the beginning. And then it gives you that feel of that, you know, that, that crisp mountain air alpine breeze while you're smelling kind of like the various greens of the forestry. You have the pine, you have the basil, like I said, you have fir, you have lemon. I mean, it's very, very interesting, okay? So this is one of those that it is somewhat uh, exotic in a way, but not really because it doesn't go out of bounds to where it's, it's too far off, you know? Like this one right here just gives you exactly what I guess Tower wants you to experience because he's from Switzerland, so he knows better. Um, and he wants you to experience that forestry as well as the alpine breeze, okay? Now, to continue the alpine breeze, you have lily, you have orchids, which is like these flowers, you know, individually, if you smell them, you're, you're thinking like, dude, this has nothing to do with the alpine breeze. But when you have lilies and orchids together, I mean, it is another uplifting push, okay? These florals are very, very nice and uplifting. Definitely, they do carry uh, that mountain breeze uh, smell. Now, another thing you might pick up as you're smelling this is you might think that this is one of those scents that they smell like freshly pressed linens, okay? Uh, which is, I mean, it's familiar with many other scents. You know, you have a lot of the MFKs, the ones that, you know, with the white label, the fresh ones that really do smell like uh, the linens. And you will get that here primarily because of the orchid, because of the lily, because of the lavender and the woody rosewood. Okay, so there's woody notes here. It makes it really woody, clean, fresh again. And that's maybe some of you guys who have tried this will already experience that kind of like fresh linens um, or freshly pressed shirt. It's, it's definitely there. However, it's not completely there because this one has those amazing greens. I mean, I really call it amazing because, I mean, it's different. It's not something that this green spicy aromatic blend is not something I've smelled anywhere but I mean given the fact that I know that this is a Swiss Alps inspired fragrance it's great because it gives me a bit of that forestry a little bit of that pine trust me guys you haven't experienced this before if you're just used to the usual stuff because it is such an interesting blend basil think about that lemon think about that like with the pine with uh, the fur okay now this one also has loads of ambergris in it so i mean ambergris is also a nice note here that you will smell as well as birch okay so uh, i guess this is like these notes are here just to make it uh you could say even more 3d than usual you know to really capture um maybe the powdery snow of uh of the swiss alps maybe that's why it's there or the breeze but ultimately it's a very very unique uh combination and it dries down into some tonka dries down to some nutmeg uh it's quite nice but ultimately guys i mean i would say this one here is when it comes to like capturing the moment or like teleporting you to different places i mean tower did an amazing job on this one i mean without a doubt and is it something i would wear right now in the summer is that is the cold alpine breeze going to hook me up this summer no for me this is spring okay or maybe i don't know if it's even fall but for me this one is spring i like it right now sure it would be nice but for more accuracy right for more accuracy definitely wear it during the spring why because it's like greener it's still cold you know you got some nice 
chilly afternoons to you know to the evenings um this one will bring the swiss alps to your doorstep to your neck it will give you those feels i think it's best for spring okay summer sure but i think that um a lot of people will judge this wrongly i think a lot of people will smell this and think that um it doesn't apply to most of what they're you know what they're expecting and i mean that's because it's the swiss alps coming to you right so you got to know what's coming in you got to know it before you buy it and that's what i'm trying to tell you guys i mean if you're into teleportational you know things that'll bring picturesque backgrounds of the swiss alps to you i mean this is a no-brainer whatsoever okay and i sprayed this uh but maybe four times and to me the the projection is just moderate i think that longevity is just moderate i didn't see it as a strong blaster i didn't consider it as anything that smelled really like that long however for the moments that it was with me i mean it was a nice maybe six to seven inch kind of like scent bubble scent aura uh so it's more like a close quarter scent i mean this is something i would wear if i'm with family you know if, if we took a trip like a spring break trip uh maybe you know going up to big bear or something you know like that's the closest here in la this you know mountain snow i mean this one would be the official big bear perfume for me it would capture you know that moment as well as give you you know that kind of uh the feels the feels of being in the alps okay so this is a win for me guys um but i mean would i buy it now no i would definitely buy it more for the spring but if you see somebody selling it for cheaps go for it you know maybe they they can't apply it right now so if you find this at a cheap price hey go for it guys okay so that's it that's my video on lair the alp suisse by andy tower make sure you like this video and subscribe because we're going to come up with more towers we got orange star we got lone star memories we got occurred to dessert which no occurred to desert sorry that we are man i'm getting hungry that we are going to compare with desert marocan very very soon thanks to tenzin from frag overall and again i want to thank tan from sending me this tower set amazing i like this one seriously very some people might even call this a masterpiece but for me i mean this is i've only tried two towers no three now with tallow blue but this one definitely follows the lineage of desert marocan teleportational brings me somewhere else okay so until then guys this is troy d thank you for watching god bless and take care see you tomorrow